What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here, and I'm sure by now you have seen the infamous Corpse Explosion Necromancer build for Diablo 4. This build does literally everything that the old Corpse Explosion build does, but it just does everything better and it has massive sustained damage, whereas the old Corpse Explosion builds typically don't. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. Welcome back guys and what makes this build different is that our essence regeneration is absolutely through the roof you can spam bone spears four or five six sometimes depending on rng you can get almost 10 of these off in a row it's crazy bone spirit is one of the hardest hitting abilities in your kit and the only other ability that is going to be hitting harder is going to be bone spirit so there is actually a unique item for this is the the artesian curious now it is not available in this version of the game but once you unlock the hell and torment and difficulties you, you will actually be able to get that drop and so what that drop is going to allow you to do is every single time you pick up a blood orb it's going to shoot off just a free bone spirit and this is by far like i said the hardest hitting ability in your kit so if you want to be notified of that build when it goes live because this is going to be the class that main when does go live this is also going to be my first hardcore class so again if you guys will be notified of that just hit the bell notification icon and while you're down there might as well like and sub all right, that's enough self chill back into the build, shall we? So what you want to do, you want to put one point into bone splinters. This is kind of like a shotgun ability. This does have a pretty high chance to generate the essence because this is what this build's all about. And then you also put one point into enhanced bone splinters. You don't really need any more than that. You don't need crit during the beta because this is still the early levels of the game and you don't have a lot of high crit chance to begin with. So it's really not that important. That's going to open up your core abilities. Now you want to max out your bone spear. You're going to go enhance bone spear. So when it hits, it's going to split into shards. You really have no choice in the matter. And then you want to go supernatural bone spear. So this is going to allow you to keep vulnerable up on your targets pretty much 100% of the time, especially with the aspects we're running. And then we also have a lot of stats stacked into increasing damage against vulnerable targets. This will open your Corpus of Macabre abilities. So you're gonna put one point into Blood Mist, one point into Enhanced Blood Mist, and then an additional point to Ghastly Blood Mist. So this allows you while you're in your mist form to generate corpses as well. It's really, really strong. Then of course, you wanna max out Corpse Explosion, Enhanced Corpse Explosion, and then Plague Corpse Explosion, which is going to increase your damage against vulnerable, stun, or slow targets, and this does stack. So there's a huge bug in the game right now. Hopefully this will be fixed. You can test out yourself if you would like. Your Skeletal Warrior Mastery Passive, this actually applies to all of your summons so this 45 percent extra damage and health that you're going to get from this passive alone which is only supposed to apply to your warriors this actually applies to your mages as well as your golems so you'll want to spec out your passives here you'll want grim harvest every single time you consume a corpse you'll generate three essence and then you'll want fuel by death max this out as well you deal 12 percent increased damage for four seconds after consuming a corpse so the whole rotation of this build is going to be you're going to like run around consume all the corpses and then just for the next four seconds, one, two, three, four, me spamming all your bone spirits, go back, consume all the corpses, spam your bone spear, bone spear, bone spear, rinse and repeat. So by now you should have three points remaining. Just go ahead and put those remaining points into your ultimate of Army of the Dead, Prime Army of the Dead, and Supreme Army of the Dead. So you may notice we have 11 bone boys on the build. These guys are not here for our damage. These are simply here just for our essence engine as well as our corpse engine. So starting off, you're going to Skeletal Warriors, you want to go down to Reapers. So Reapers have a 15% chance to carve the flesh of enemies, forming a corpse, which is very, very handy. We have six of these Reapers, and anything you can have to increase the attack speed of your minions, which there is an aspect on the build we will go over here in just a moment. The more attacks they can get off, the more corpses, the better. Next is Skeletal Mages. We're expecting into Cold Mages because what the Cold Mages are able to do, each time your Cold Mages damages enemies with their primary attacks, you gain two essence. And since we have five of them and they attack every second or even actually a lot faster than that when we have our Army of the Dead out as well as our aspects, you're generating essence constantly so you can keep up your Bone Spear spam just, just, just all the time. It's crazy. So the Golem actually isn't necessary. It doesn't produce a lot of corpses. I mean, it looks cool and it does have really cool taunt ability, but you're really not going to need it. So it might be actually better to just go ahead and sacrifice your golem and then that will free up a slot on your bar to kind of build out the build however you want. All right, so that's going to do it for the skill tree in the Book of the Dead. Let's hop over into what aspects we are running. Now, this is almost min-max to uh, my play style, my liking. I think this is going to be what you want to strive for going into the open version of the game, which is like a couple months from now, sometime in June, right? 
So the only thing you're really going to change aspect wise on this build, I haven't really found anything that's going to give you more damage per second, is this chest piece. So there is a unique named item, like I said before, every single time you pick up a blood orb, you're going to spawn a free bone spirit. So once we are able to ascertain said piece, that's going to go here on the chest spot. So when it comes to all the aspects on the gear we have on our helmet, we have your maximum number of skeletal mages is increased by two. So the more mages you have, the more essence you're going to generate because they're the cold mages. A chest piece, this really isn't important. Again, like I said, we're, we're going to be changing this later. So I do have this aspect though. Every 10 seconds, your cold skeleton mages cast a blizzard, which deals 240 cold damage and continuously chills your enemy over eight seconds. Now there are like a lot of traits and stuff that give you additional damage against chilled ability. So this is pretty nice. So next is our gloves and this does have a plus two rank to bone spear, which is really nice. And then the aspect skills deal up to 25% increased damage based on your available primary resource when cast, receiving the maximum benefit while you have full primary resources. Again, this is all about essence regeneration and you're going to be a fool quite often. So essentially this is like the free 25% extra damage. Next is our legs. This one gives a plus one to corpse explosion as well as plus one to blood mist, which it really isn't necessary, but still pretty nice. Now the aspect we're using on this guy, consuming a corpse has a 27% chance to spawn a blood orb. Now, while this is not really applicable to this build, I just wanted to go ahead and get it on the build just so you guys can see what it's going to look like going into when the game actually releases, right? So the blood orb is going to heal you and it's also going to proc your bone spirits you know your free bone spirit once we get the chest piece that we need so literally every single time you pick up a blood orb you're going to shoot out these bone spirits which you're going to track your targets and it does hellacious aoe damage in addition to your corpse explosions in addition to your bone spirits you can see where the damage really comes in here oh, oh look a boss see it kills this guy like so quick this is level 30 boss you can just sit here and spam your 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 spears and he's just dead <laughs> it's, it's crazy anyway uh, moving on to the boots. Now these boots have terrible stats. Don't get me wrong. So your maximum number of skeletal warriors is also increased by two. So the more warriors you have, the more attack speed you have, the more corpses you're going to generate. So again, like the whole basic rotation is to do your corpse explosion boy. This will give you increased damage for four seconds. For that four seconds, you're going to be spamming your spears. And then you, again, you'll go back into your corpses. You should have enough to get it all the way back off cooldown. And you know, one, two, three, four, rinse and repeat. So this is our weapon. We actually have a, a Reaper Scythe that we're going to be upgrading because this has a lot better stats than our Greatsword. But the aspect we'll be using on this is Bone Spear's primary attack makes enemies hits beyond the first vulnerable for almost four seconds. Bone Shards from the Bone Spear deal an additional 165 bonus damage to vulnerable enemies. And literally every single person you're going to be targeting is going to be vulnerable, okay? So the backbone of the build is actually going to be on our necklace. So the aspect we're using is Blood Mist triggers corpse explosion on surrounding corpses. When blood mist detonates a corpse, its cooldown is reduced by 2.3 seconds. Now you don't necessarily have to have this on your necklace, but I felt that having the increased cooldown reduction is really, really beneficial, especially when you don't have any corpses or maybe you're limited to, you know, just a few. Okay, so on our ring, this is actually a really good aspect to have. So up to a 10% chance to generate 42 essence when hitting a vulnerable enemy. And as you guys can see in the theme of the build, everything's going to be vulnerable. So you can get back to back to back free cast of your bone spirit if RNG Jesus is in your favor. This is actually really strong and it's not only applicable to your bone spirit, it's also applies to your basic auto attacks. And last but certainly not least, I think this is very, very underrated and this is what's going to help us generate the most essence possible from our mages. Oh, one second, gotta kill the dude, make sure I don't die here. I mean, it's not really necessary, but you know, we'll, we'll kill him anyway. Anyways, uh, the next aspect we're running is, which is the final aspect on the build. Each time one of your summoning minions damages an enemy, they gain 14% increased attack speed for three seconds, up to 42%. The more attack speed you can have on your minions, the better, because the melee boys generate corpses while your range boys generates essence. Well, that about does it for the build, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching until the end. Hopefully, you all are enjoying the beta nearly as much as I am, and hopefully, this build helps you out. If you found any information in this video at all helpful, I would really appreciate a like and sub. And before I peace out, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. You guys are the bees knees, the totes my goats, the bomb.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and Twitter and hit the bell notification icon so you're notified of the content when I release it. We're going to be doing a lot of D4 stuff, guys, so stay tuned. If you have further questions about the build, just hit me up in Discord or down in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, I've been Horcrux. I'm out, guys. Peace.